Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and in today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to make this beautiful fine flowers peyote stitch bracelet. It's easy to make and I'm showing step by step so I'm sure you're going to be able to make it by yourself until the end. If you're new here, consider subscribing with the bell for more and more absolutely free beautiful tutorials like this. Check description for full list of materials, link to my Facebook page where you could share your beautiful designs that you did following my tutorials. Thank to all of you that like, share and comment. This is a great and amazing support and I can't thank you enough for this one. You might also want to support me in PayPal or by becoming a member. Thank you so much for watching. Now I'm going to start with the list of the materials. Okay guys, so what I'm using here for this video are four colors of 11 o seed beads, white, red, green and yellow or others of your choice. This is Nymo nylon thread that is size D, the thickness is 0.3 millimeters. This is size 10 beading needle, scissors and these are flat nose pliers that I used to attach my jump rings to my work. And now I'm going to take an arm span and a half of thread on my needle and I'll be back. Okay guys, and here I have six white beads on my needle and I'm going to slide those down. I will stick my needle in my mat and here what I want to do is to make a knot. And I go twice through the loop I've made. Then I pull and I make one more knot. Okay, this is what I have. Now I want to go through two white beads from here. And from here on guys, I'm going to pick up a long sequence of beads. I will start it with three green beads. three red beads and from here on I'm going to alternate two green and three reds two greens and three reds. Okay, I'll do this off camera and I'll be back to show you the result. And guys, for my wrist, this length is enough. Here I have 17 by three red beads divided by two green beads. And only the beginning and the end consists of three green beads. Why I do this? You see, this is a ready bracelet of the same type, but with different colors. Here I have 17 yellow flowers and here I will have 17 red flowers. So these three represent the beginning of my flowers that I have here. Okay, so after I explained, if you want to make a longer bracelet, if your wrist is bigger, you could continue this adding 3, 2, 3, 2 and only the last one you add 3 and in this way you extend the length of your bracelet or you could add an extension chain if it's too short. Now here guys what I want to take are 6 beads. This will be the loop of beads that finishes my bracelet where I add my clasp later. And I want to go through all of those beads just like this and pull. Okay. I want to go here through this white one and go in the following green okay now I'm going to flip my work like this to see it properly 
And here what I want to take are two white beads and I go in the first green and here I'm going to take a yellow bead and go in the last red. And what I want to take here are two white beads and I go in the first red. Then I'm going to take one yellow bead and go in the last red. Two whites again, skip the two greens and go in the first red one, just like this, and then take one yellow and go in the last red one. Okay. Then continue this, adding two whites and one yellow until the end. If you forget how I'm doing it, just rewind the video and repeat these steps until the end and I'll be back. Okay guys, and as I continue this absolutely the same way, adding one yellow and two whites, I'm here at my last step where I'm adding my last two white beads. Now I want to reposition my thread here, uh, just to show you the whole length and don't worry they, that they move around. Okay, and now what I want to do, you see I'm exiting here out of the last green, the third green that I fin finished my work with and I want to go through all of those white beads in this direction. And then I want to go backwards through those beads. Okay, guys. Now, here, as I repositioned, what I want to take is one more green bead and I'm going through these two white beads. Okay. This is what I have. Take one red and I go through the yellow. The yellow is the center of my flower and the red are the petals. So this is the next row where I continue forming these flowers. Then again I take a red one. And another red and until the end of this row guys I will be adding red beads and I will be filling the gaps around the yellow one I think you get the idea, it's really easy and simple. So when I finish this row, I will meet you at the other side. Okay guys, and you see when I continued adding red beads, you see how my bracelet is forming now. Okay, and I'm here at my last step where I need to add my last red bead. Okay. Now again I want to make the same repositioning as I did before. I go through this green bead and through the white beads in this direction. Then 
through all of those white bits and I want to exit here at this point and here I need another green bit okay now I could start the next row but in order to do this again I need repositioning and this time I'm going through these two green beads, then through the third one one more time. Maybe it's better to use size 12 needle if you can't handle this. Here I'm doing it with size 10. Okay, and then I repositioned going through the newly added green bead in order to be able to continue with my work now what i need here are two green beads and i'm going in the following red okay again a red one to finish my flower okay here is how I add my last thread, you see? Then again, two green beads and go in the red. One red also go in the red. Two greens go in the red. and one red and I'm going to alternate two greens one red until the end of this row and I'll be back okay guys and here I am where I'm also finishing almost finishing this row and by the way if you want you could stop up to here but we will continue this okay what i want to do now is go through this white bit then because my thread is white it's not very visible i will directly go through this green one in this direction and i'm going to add one white bit here which will be the beginning point of my next row then i will go again in this direction and one more time i want to exit through this white bead so i'm repositioning again and from here on I want to go again in this direction and I will be adding white beads here everywhere Okay, and I'll finish this row and I'll be back. Okay, guys, and when I continue beading, this is what I have. I'm adding here this white bead. And what I want to do is to add one more white bead. I'm adding it here between those two green beads. Okay, like this. Then what I want to do is transfer to the other side of my work and here if it's difficult for you 
use your pliers to go or you could use smaller needle as I told you and here I need one more white bead and go through these two greens okay I have this now I'm going to continue adding one by one white beads until the end of this row as I said if it's difficult for you you could stop and make only the central part of the bracelet but I want to continue this process okay and I will add white beads here around the reds and I will finish this row and I'll be back okay guys and you see as I continue adding these white beads here I am at almost my last step okay but if you remember here we need to add one more white bead okay here it is and now I want to go backwards through the same white Okay, I just repositioned my thread and here I will start another row. I take two white beads, then again one white, two whites, one white two whites one white and I'm going to continue these guys until the end of this row and when I'm ready I'll be back at the other side okay guys and here I am where I'm adding my last two beads from this row now what I want to do is go in this direction and I want to reposition my thread I want to make it exit here out of this white bead and now I will start my next row I'm taking two beads and I'm going in the next one then one go here in the following two go in the next white one and like I did at the other side guys I'm going to alternate two one two one and when I reach the other side I'll be back to tell you how to finish your bracelet okay guys and here I am at my last step where I'm adding my last two beads from this row and you see now my bracelet is ready if your bracelet bends to one side it could mean several things one of them is uh, that you use slightly different beads what I mean by that sometimes the beads from one and the same manufacturer from diff different lots could differ a little bit and in this case it might be bending to one side uh, the other reason could be an even tension you put too mu much tension from one side and less from the other side and a way to fix if it's bending to one side is to go one more time 
<laughs> from the opposite side to where it is bending to. Now here what I want to do is to make a knot and cut my thread and how I do this I make a loop, I go twice through the loop I've made and I pull and then I go through some beads in whichever direction I can. Okay, I will repeat this knot one more time now. I'll go in the next seed bead and I'll cut my thread. And now guys, what I want to do is to attach my clasp and how I do this. I open this one up just like this. I put my clasp and I squeeze back in the same direction as I opened it. Okay, and I will repeat this one from the other side but only with the jump ring. Okay guys, and as I repeated this from this side, my bracelet is ready. So if you like it and you want to see more and more videos like this, it's a good idea to subscribe if you still haven't. Thank to all of you that like, share and comment. This is a great and amazing support that you're doing guys and I can't thank you enough for these actions. Check description for full list of materials, other useful resources. Also my Facebook page where you could share your beautiful designs that you did following my tutorials. You might also want to support me in PayPal or by becoming a member and the last one comes with perks that you could check in description. Thank you so much for staying here with me until the end. Now click on the video that you see on your screens and continue watching.